Hello boys and girls, welcome to ALD and Spelling Word Drawing and Writing. It is I, Mrs. Duck, and I am taking over. <laughs> Mrs. Duck, what are you doing over there? What was that? <laughs> oh boy, okay. Uh, not quite how I wanted to start this, but now that we're started, why not keep it going? Welcome everybody, we are going to be doing some spelling word drawing and spelling word writing, so you need something to write and draw with and something to draw and write on. Alright, I have my whiteboard set up, set up by Mrs. Duck, she did a pretty good job of it, so why don't we get started. So our first word of the day, of the week, is cart, C-A-R-T. Cart. Now, when I think of cart or carts, first thing I think of is uh, when I go shopping, maybe to, to Target, huh? Maybe I'll say Target because I want to use a red color. So, what we're going to do is start off with a line like this, kind of across, and then we're going to draw two lines on each side going up like that, and we'll connect them there. Now we're going to draw a couple other lines going down. One here, one here, one there. And then we're going to connect them. So I'm going to draw a diagonal line from here to here, and then another diagonal line going the other way like that. So there's part of our cart. Now we need a handle, right? So I'm going to draw a couple lines up like this, and then a line connecting them. And there's our handle. And why don't we draw a line coming down like this. And we'll put a, a circle, like a wheel on it. And then we always have like a rack on the bottom. So draw a couple lines like this. Go into another wheel. Diagonal line, another wheel. There's our cart. If you want to put stuff inside that cart, go right ahead and put that the, whatever whatever items you want in there for cart. C-A-R-T, cart. Next up is arm. A-R-M. Arm. And for arm, let's go with our world famous stick figure friend. You got the body. Two legs. World famous stick figure feet. Shoes. And there are the arms. We're just going to draw an arrow curving around, pointing at the arm. That is our arm. If you want to put clothes on that stick figure, go right ahead. Okay, next up is yarn. Yarn. And I always think of yarn as... Oops. Let me get it up higher. You can't even see that one. Y-A-R-N. Yarn. I always think of yarn in a ball. Right, and like, uh, and the cats like to play with it. So we're going to start with a circle. Now, um, if you ever see a ball of yarn, it's the it's a bunch of string, and they're kind of all going in different directions to kind of make a ball. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to draw some lines going this way, and then some lines going this way, and I'm going to leave a, a hole in the middle because you ever see a ball of yarn. A lot of times there's there's kind of a hole in the middle. There's a there's a yarn and look, there's a string hanging off where you can start and the kitty can play with it. And there is our yarn. Next up, we have barn, and barn is B A R N. And so what I'm going to do for barn, I think we're going to do this. Let's draw. A line going up and a line going down. A line coming out this way and then coming diagonal again. And then let's connect them. Remember, if you ever need to pause, go ahead and pause. Okay, now it's a barn, and a lot of times barns, uh, well, they can be different colors, but I always like to paint it or color it red. I'm going to make my barn red. And we'll draw some lines coming out. And barns will have these big, 
barn doors. And a lot of times they'll have a an upstairs, like a little window up top. So this is a barn. And you could color it. You could make little windows if you want. And color it in. You could even have animals poking out of it, right? Yep. A little bit of color. I won't color it in entirely. But you can. Okay. That is our barn. I wonder what animals live in our barn. I don't know. Maybe you can come up with them. Maybe that'll be your sentence. Ooh, I don't know. Brainstorming already. And now the last one is art. A-R-T. Art. Now art can be anything, really. We're doing art right here. So this spot is up to you. You're going to put whatever you want in art. Any picture you want. If you like uh, Legos, you can draw Legos. If you like... Um, uh, Star Wars, draw Star Wars. If you like LOL dolls, draw them. This is all for you. You're going to put your art right there. Now that we finished our pictures, we're going to come up with some sentences. So we'll brainstorm a little bit. Cart. You could say, this is a shopping cart. Or this is my cart. You could say, uh, my kitten loves yarn. Or... That yarn is pretty. And say, uh, a horse lives in the barn. Or, a pig lives in the barn. Or, that's a pretty barn. Look at that barn. This is my arm. Look at her arm. And this is my art. Isn't my art amazing? Yes, it is. So you can use the pictures that I've drawn if you want, but you can also come up with your own. Now, if you want to use my sentences that I've brainstormed, you can use those, or you can use them a little bit and change it up and make it yours, or you can just use yours completely, right? And you can make any changes you want to these pictures. If you want to draw a more in, uh, in-depth character or person, go ahead. If you want to put animals and and trees, and and a fence around, go ahead, and a kitty playing with the yarn, sure, you can fill this shopping cart up and put a whole family shopping, it's up to you, this is your art, and you can draw whatever you want right here, now maybe, just maybe, you'll put a little smiley face with a little bit of hair here, and some long, kind of shaggy hair. And maybe some glasses. I don't know. And maybe a little mustache going there. Don't know who that looks like at all. Not sure who that could possibly ever be. But if you want to draw something like that, you can go ahead and do that. All right, boys and girls, thank you for joining me for ALD. Thank you to Mrs. Duck for getting us started. Maybe next time I'll let her run the whole thing. Who knows? We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.